Hey everybody, welcome back to Stonebroke Adventure. On this episode, we're gonna talk about DC to DC chargers and what they're used for. Uh, Vigor sent us this 30 amp DC to DC charger, kind of to bring you an up close look. We're gonna test it out later, but uh, this video is really about what is the purpose of a DC to DC charger. So let's get into it. This section right here is what typically comes in a vehicle. You're gonna have your lead acid battery. This is just the example. You have your lead acid battery and you're gonna have your alternator. This lead acid battery is gonna be used for starting and running your vehicle accessories, right? They're connected together. The alternator charges the battery. And if you look here on a lead acid battery, we have a certain charging profile, right? The resting voltage is 12 volt, 12.8 volts. The charging voltage on a lead acid battery is anywhere from 14.2 to 14.8 volt, volts. There's a float charge and the charging stages are gonna be bulk, absorption, float. Now we don't have to worry too much about the technicalities, but we just have to understand that lead acid batteries have a certain charging profile. That alternator is set up to charge those batteries at that profile. The alternator just charges the batteries in a certain way that works for the lead acid battery. The problem we run into is a lithium iron phosphate, some AGM batteries, certain batteries have a different charging profile than your lead acid batteries. So your alternator is not set up to charge a lithium battery. It's not set up to charge certain battery profiles. And that's where your DC to DC charger comes in. Why would you have a lithium iron phosphate battery in a system like this? If you have a boat or if you have an RV and you have what we call the lithium system would be your house battery. This is gonna be used specifically for the vehicle to run the vehicle, to start the vehicle. High amp draw, it can handle, it can handle that starting power to start the starter motor and it's specifically made for the vehicle. Your house battery, this is gonna be set up to run your accessories, your refrigerators, your air conditioners, your lights, all your uh, DC accessories. That's what your lithium system's for. They have to be separated, they have to be isolated. Now you can charge these with solar panels, but what happens if it's a cloudy day or you're driving down the road? You wanna be able to charge this with your alternator. So what you would do is you would hook this lithium battery up to your vehicle system, but you use the DC to DC charger. You hook the DC to DC charger between your vehicle system and itself, right? If you look here, we have a charging profile on the lithium iron phosphate battery and you can see here, like it doesn't have the same parameter setups as your lead acid battery. What's nice about the V-Bore is it has dip switches and you can set the output charging profile with these dip switches to match your lithium battery. Another feature of this is this completely isolates your lithium system from your vehicle system, right? So when the key's turned off, these systems are completely isolated. If you're running your refrigerator, if you're running uh, all your DC uh, accessories, you don't have to worry ever about draining your starter battery dead. So you don't have to worry about getting stranded or abandoned, right? Same thing, you can use this in an RV, you can use this in a boat. A real simple setup. All you have to do is hook the input from your battery to the input and your output to your lithium battery. You have a control switch that's gonna hook to one of your accessory wires. A lot of times you can hook that directly to the alternator, and that way when you turn the key on, that's what's gonna turn this unit on, and always just remember to set the charging profile on the dip switches. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below, just a real basic overview of why you would use a DC to DC charger. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.